I tried it all. Why were SWAT teams used to arrest unarmed women and children? Why have relatives of those charged been brutally interrogated? Why have innocent people been kept in jail for years without trial? We would like to end this statement with an appeal to those who are responsible for the past and present persecution of the nation of yud heh wav -Hey Yahweh. You and we both know that yud heh wav -Hey, Beit Nun Sofit yud heh wav -Hey, Yahweh Ben Yahweh, is being held for reasons other than those stated. You have taken our properties and our businesses. Do you now demand our bodies and our blood? We're becoming your slaves again, getting the release of our spiritual leader. We cannot exist apart from our religion, nor can we exist without our father, Yud Hei Wav Hei, Beit Nun Sofit Yud Hei Wav Hei, Yahweh Ben Yahweh. So what are your demands? We ask that the upright men and women of the world who seek to stand on the square of righteousness, is there any mercy for the widow's son, the lion of the tribe of Judah, who has been illegally and immorally bound in chains, hung on the cross, and judicially murdered for the sins of the world? Is there any justice for the children of Hiram? Is there any justice for the children of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and the children of the nation of yud heh wav -Hey, Yahweh? Again, as of Monday, June 12th, 1995, the Barclay Hotel is no longer owned or managed by believers in Almighty God yud heh wav -Hey, Yahweh. There is a cancer growing within the American federal government. This cancer was first visible on November 7th, 1990, when they launched a seven-state raid against Yahweh Ben Yahweh and the nation of Yahweh. For 15 years, this dark shadow lurking in the federal government spent millions of tax dollars preparing for this moment. The federal SWAT teams detained hundreds of men, women, and children. They raided the homes and businesses of the nation of Yahweh and found nothing illegal. This should not have surprised anyone since Yahweh ben Yahweh teaches only morality and respect for the law. In our reporting on the wrongful arrest and conviction of Yahweh ben Yahweh, we showed you how the federal government used the testimony of a confessed murderer who was plea bargaining for his life. In our reporting, we showed you that the federal government used the same point men in state court and how quickly all these cases were dismissed or found not guilty because there was no evidence. The Judas from federal court was not believed by any state jury or judge. In spite of his being the land of the free, there are some within the federal government that plainly want the nation of Yahweh destroyed. Let's start by examining the 1980s. During a time when the nation of Yahweh was prospering economically by hard work and honest labor, they did it in what is referred to as low-income or depressed areas, what we used to call the ghetto. The nation of Yahweh opened businesses, stores, hotels in cities all across America, and they were a success. Can you imagine how some federal agencies felt after they had spent millions trying to do the same thing, but the only thing they managed to accomplish was keeping their own jobs? Yahweh ben Yahweh gives people a sense of hope. 
self-worth and value. He tells them that they can succeed without government handouts, without unemployment benefits, without food stamps, and they succeed. Yahweh Ben Yahweh wanted to help the poor by offering the highest quality in food at the lowest prices in the nation of Yahweh grocery stores, something not experienced before in these areas. And if the people were too old or unable to make it to the Yahweh grocery stores, they were given a ride for free. The late state representative, Jeff Reeves, said, and I quote, we must become serious about our economic future. All political and social issues hinge on this one factor, economics. With control of our economics, we can begin to control our problems of homelessness, joblessness, businesslessness, and drugs. Last week, I met a man who is serious about economics, Yahweh Ben Yahweh. In a short 10 years, he has built a sizable operation in our community, factory buildings, apartments, markets, and the list goes on. The man has done what many have only planned of doing. We have learned of the civil rights atrocities committed by these federal law enforcement personnel during the 1950s, the 1960s, and the 1970s. These federal agents stood squarely on the torn first 10 amendments, the Bill of Rights. Are we so naive to believe that now everything is perfect? That now our personal liberties and freedoms are foremost in the minds of these federal agents who are on the payroll of the federal government? Mankind's darkest periods come with the intolerance of others. We have had purges, crusades, inquisitions, genocide, holocaust, and ethnic cleansings. This shadow government, this cancer in America, which has pursued and persecuted Yahweh ben Yahweh and the nation of Yahweh, is headed down a dark road, looking for its final solution. Yahweh ben Yahweh created jobs, hope, and light. Part of our government is spending millions in tax dollars to smother that hope and light. At a time when part of our American government is trying to set its financial house in order. The other part, the shadow government, is spending millions because it does not like the color of a people's garment, which is white, or the color of their skin, which is not white. Thank you.